And welcome to the Hopcast. Uh, thanks for coming back, everybody. I'm Brad Chmielewski. My name is Ken Hunnameter. And we're outside the House of Blues. Yes, we are here, downtown Chicago, for a very special, special event for all you drinkers out there. Right, we're checking out the Drinking Made Easy show. Absolutely, with uh, Zane Lamprey and Steve McKenna and friends. Right, so I think we're going to head on in there, grab a beer, and maybe find one of them. That sounds like a good idea. I'm sure they've got uh, plenty to say, so let's go check it out. Hey everybody, we're here with uh, Zane and Steve. Yeah, thank you so much. You know for, we're really uh, here because if I, if I wasn't yeah. here, if I was on a green screen, I couldn't do that. <laughs> I let him borrow my helmet for the interview. Yes, thank you. <laughs> but thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, I know you're, you're busy men here, and I uh, just wanted to say we're, we're huge fans of, of the show and all that. I've, we've had bigger fans. We had a guy who was about six foot eight. He carried a gun. He's, well, he's, he's our biggest big fan. It sounded like you meant big. It sounded like you meant physical and we definitely in stature. Don't have any guns on us. Oh, okay. He has a physically big helmet. Yeah. Guns aren't always better. <laughs> I got a mean head. If you just like stop, you should stop your comments there. You just killed a Bourbon County stout. You drank a 13% alcohol. That's basically like drinking that is love right wine. Now. <laughs> it is love. Oh, okay. thank you for bringing that. <laughs> okay. But we're, we're here backstage at the uh, your, your Drinking Made Easy Tour. It's yeah. We're right in the middle of it. How's everything been going? We're at the House of Blues in Chicago. Yeah. Sold out show. It's about an hour and a half before showtime. Steve is planning on becoming comatose or not pacing himself properly. Um, we shot today at the Match Matchbox, which is the smallest bar. Right. That's right. And then we were at um, Tavern on the Park. Park. And we had a two hundred dollar cocktail. Oh, uh, I had silver on it, and they gave me a Tiffany um, pendant afterwards. Oh, that's um, cute. We had we drank at the Green Mill, the Green Door, and then at the um, what am I missing? Sheffield Park. Yes, Sheffield. yes, the box on Sheffield. Watching oh, the, oh, the game. Oh, over the Cubs game. Yeah, that's yeah. so cool. That's Excellent. Cool. Excellent. That's that's wonderful. I have so, pictures if you want to see. No, they're they're cool. Yeah. I think they're probably. <laughs> Should we go in the other right room? Right now? <laughs> yeah, you want to bring them in the other room and show them your pictures? No, Why don't you just put that in your mouth and suck it? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to check out the show uh, right after this. And we're, yeah. we're really looking forward to it. What, what kind of things can we expect? Are we. Uh, well, here's what. If you. If you, like, as, as far as the, the stand up? Yeah, yeah. Go the, in uh, with really show. low expectations. <laughs> right. And you'll, you'll enjoy yourself. Well, if I you have expect. The counties, so, right. so that's yeah, help. that's helping your. Yeah, that's helping. <laughs> That makes me funnier, and the more I drink, the more funny that I think that I am. So it, it it really it works out really well for everyone, because by the end of the show, everyone's been drinking, and everyone is pretty funny. Well, that's the idea, I would think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even sure what I said makes sense. I think sense a lot of your fans probably are, are quite into drinking. More, I think a lot of fans drink. are probably Steve McKenna as we speak. <laughs> and what, are, what are we really talking about here? Stuff, dude. But speaking of which, yeah. Right, do you have any good stories for us of Steve McKenna? Steve McKenna getting two Steve McKenna. Sure, not of just, course. Not just today. <laughs> no, no, we have we have a great one. Um, we have a uh, huge database full. <laughs> <laughs> we document. we have we have two for every day that we've been on tour. Um, yeah, there's a great one um, where Steve was in Norfolk, Virginia, and he we were drinking all day. We had something called the Orange Crush, which is um, like orange and vodka, orange and orange infused, like fresh squeezed orange and orange infused oh, vodka, okay. and it was amazing. And we drank those during the day. Wait Steve, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, I, I drank probably... You stunt drank. Eight or nine pints of vodka? Well, that's completely unfathomable and unreasonable. <laughs> so that's probably not. You did... That's what happened. No, here's what happened. You drank about eight of the pints, but they had ice and orange juice. They weren't just eight pints of vodka. That's not even Russian. Really? <laughs> okay. So anyway, bottom line is, he was Steve McKenna. So he's on the stage, and he's on one side of the stage at the end of the show, and I'm on the other. I say something to him, and I, I look down, and I look back up, and he's gone. And I run over to, and I run over the side of the stage, and the stage was literally five and a half feet with a, with a speaker monitor on top of that, or four and a half feet with a speaker monitor, so made it about five and a half, almost six feet. So he fell over backwards. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> as tall as I am, a little bit more, and he fell off We were the watching the show like this. So, I mean, the stage was up What do you mean you were watching the show? You were in the show. Before. Before it started. Well, then you weren't watching the show. You were watching before we even started the show. You were leaning up on the stage. <laughs> no, just, it doesn't. I don't know what's going so, on. There. So, he falls off the stage backwards. Oh, jeez. And I run over, over to him. Over a monitor. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we, we got, figured it probably what seven feet. No, we already got. We got <laughs> it was like ten feet. You are like in the movie Braveheart. After You're just taking pints yeah, of vodka. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. After, he, he drank a case of vodka My back still out hurts. of a keg. That was one bitch and fish story. It was amazing. The fact is, four and a half feet, speaker monitor, probably about five and a half, maybe six feet, the fall. He falls over backwards, and he fall, he, he, I look up, he's there, I turn around, and he's gone. He's on the other side. So I run up to the, sta- the side of the stage, and I didn't want to, you know, I had, you know, 500 people out there, so I didn't want to like stop the whole show if I could right. keep going. So I look, I look over there and he's getting up. So I'm like, okay, phew, he's fine. <laughs> and it's just a concrete floor. <laughs> yeah, it's just a concrete floor. And there's an EMT and he's shining his light in, in Steve's eyes and he goes, he goes, are you all right? And Steve's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, what's your name? And he goes, Steve McKenna. And he goes, what day is it? And what'd you say? Today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story. Perfect. And the EMT Perfect. goes, He's cool. He's all right. Yeah, he's good to go. I can't argue with that. Went back out and sang the lead song. What are you even saying? (laughs) You should try some of that Bourbon County Stout. I know. I I I tried it before. I know. He would have, but this is really good. You want to try a little bit of that? I'm gonna I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you handle that. So you pass a lot of drinks to Steve then on the on the tour. You know, take this. I gotta. Yeah, yeah. That's what he's here for. He's here. You're here to wear a helmet. Right. And Steve is here to okay. essentially be a helmet, be sort of my safety net, if you will. So he'll he'll drink in situations, and not like not like it's off camera, you know. And I'm like passing beers to him; it's all on camera. Like I get past Bourbon County Stout or three of them, and Steve here, <laughs> it's, it's not cool to leave empty stuff. So then you would you drink it? You did it today. It's such a great job. Yeah, you think my job is great? His job. Right. So he's just bad to clean up. He, he right. is exactly what he's doing. He's a pinch runner. Yeah, like, I'll have ideas and stuff like that when we're doing the scene, and Zane's like, Steve, don't think, just drink. Yeah. <laughs> but his, I, but I, I think you're getting an idea of where, where some of his ideas are coming from. <laughs> from like, nowhere. Yeah, from nowhere, exactly. Yeah. But you've been to uh, been to Chicago a number of times. Yeah. And you've been bouncing around the, the, the city for the past couple of days. Yep. Is there some, is this something that you always do when you, when you come to Chicago? You make um, a point to do this or see that? Or I this? always... I always go to Goose Island. It's not necessarily that I have to, but I do. I, I always end up there. Um, I know the brewer and some of the people there, and um, um, I love the Bourbon County Stout. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these, you know, I'm, in, I'm in L.A. right now, so you can't get, I don't think you can get Goose Island in L.A. right now, to be honest with you. So, you know, I, I'll come in and, and drink some of their stuff. And the, the one, the Bourbon County Stout that I like to nurse, the one that Steve killed, um, that's, so that's, one, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, that's how I like to drink it too. And we would like to thank Goose Island for for sponsoring these beers. To yeah. uh, Goose to Island, thank you for giving us four beers. <laughs> <laughs> so amazing you did that. This goose I, I hope, is for you. I hope we didn't break the bank, Goose Island Bank. Yeah. We love. That other was like this huge factory, and they said take four. Take four. <laughs> take four. But they said take four of whatever you'd like. That's right. Whoa! It's like you know. And you pick yeah. these, Ken? And you pick these, and this uh, guy, That guy's from 2007. You're drinking some vintage stuff there. This is an aged Matilda? Uh, switch it up. No way. It's a Matilda. This is really First of all, good. try it. I don't want your beard crabs. No, I just cleaned it. That's a new one, a Sophie. Oh, it's really? It's a is that Saison. Summer? summer beer? Oh, it's Saison. Summer? It's like flowery, hoppy flowery. Nice. It's very floral. <laughs> <laughs> so you, of course, know your beer. What's your favorite beer? Just in general? Or really? Just you, drink think, it? you think I'm crazy enough to say a favorite beer? My favorite beer is Pleplius beer. <laughs> which is a beer that I'm working on right now, which is a lager, which is, I want a dumb beer, and that's going to be my campaign. It's just, d- just give me a dumb beer. Dumb in what way? Just Dumb in that, I love these beers, and I love having craft beer, and I love going out to a, to a different bar and trying a different, different beer, and that's what I do. When I go to a bar, I'm a beer guy, and I'll say, let me try your craft beer, like whatever, I've never had that, I've never had that, and I'll try those. Right. But when I go home, I just want a dumb beer. You know, I, like, I, can't, beer? I can't drink, yeah, like a light, like a lager. Yeah. You know yeah, the difference between the we've, re- we've yeah. reached that okay. point where like Pilsner is like Go back I just to want Pilsner. Pilsner. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, right. look, I sure. love trying this. I love experimenting and trying new beers. But every now, I mean, when I'm watching a game or I'm home or whatever, I don't want to think about it. I just want to throw it back. So you just sit there, you know, hanging out Zane Lamprey in his boxers watching Real Housewives. Yeah, I call stop. and I call myself Zane Lamprey. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm watching. Tra- Actually, that's not well, true. Zane, what am I gonna do? I'm watching Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. <laughs> he generally has two. He has two. real good beer in the fridge uh, and a killer uh, liquor cabinet. Yeah. Well, well people you found it that. somehow, right? Yeah. Or it was every killer. time you brought it. <laughs> no, now we have one rolling. If you saw, we have our two buses, and then we have a. Like a 14 foot trailer, we had to add on because we kept acquiring more stuff. So now we're pulling a lot of liquor. 
I don't know. Is that legal? We bought it. We're allowed to do it. I'm pretty sure we were allowed to do that. So uh, o- over the past couple days, have you have you run across the Stanley Cup? Have no, we've drinking? missed it. We missed it. We've missed, it, missed it twice. It. What? Um, we missed it at the Cubs game, and then we were on WGN, the CW, this morning. Mm-hmm. That's why I had the Blake Lively reference. <laughs> Your sister of the Charlie Pants, the <laughs> gossiper. I know that it doesn't matter. And um, um, and we. We, they said we just missed it. Like, oh, you guys just missed it. I'm like, we would have come in earlier. We could have drank mm-hmm. from it. That would have been amazing. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, I was here. What time? Oh, they're like, they're like oh, 6 a.m. I got there at 1130. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, Stanley. And you were, you were. Sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 helmet. Kill it, helmet. It. Kill it, helmet. <laughs> Kill it, helmet. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Well, that's great. Uh, we're so happy that you you came and sat down with us, enjoyed some, some great Goose Island beers. Nice. And, and thanks again oh. to to Goose Island for, for bringing those over Thank for you for us. the four beers, Goose Island. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Goose. And uh, good luck on your tour. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, have a lot of fun, guys. Enjoy the show. The show. Remember, nice keep meeting. your expectations low. You will not be disappointed. Thanks, Thanks, <laughs> Thanks sir. Thanks. Enjoy and the Thank helmet. you guys for watching another episode of the Hopcast. Thanks. Now we're going to watch you. Cheers. <laughs>